Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. What if I talked about an infinite money glitch, ladies and gentlemen? Now, uh, a couple days ago I talked about AI Sponge, basically SpongeBob and artificial intelligence, and I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. You know, granted at that point I was also incredibly tired. But in that video I said, what if somebody took the concept of Family Guy and brought it over to the AI? Ladies and gentlemen, Family Guy is a show that's all about cutaways, and uh, I'm gonna be honest, I think Family Guy as funny as hell. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you go to YouTube right now, one thing that you'll be blessed to know is that Family Guy is probably one of the most watched YouTube style videos that you could ever imagine. Don't believe me? Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, literally got eight days ago, Family Guy episode, season 11, episode 20. These are three hours and 47 minutes long of just straight up cutaways where uh, they get about 326,000 views. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, if you honest to God believe that you have no talent on the internet, you can get by literally just doing Family Guy style videos. And that's pretty much how the algorithm works everywhere. Now, there's only so many cutaways from the actual show one can repurpose. What if you use artificial intelligence to generate new cutaways for Family Guy episodes? See, the concept is genius, okay? Family Guy doesn't really have a, a crazy story. I mean, it does, but generally it just relies on cutaway humor uh, for the bulk of it. Now, to understand, AI allows us to take those cutaways and generate as many as we want. Uh, quality can obviously vary, but this has birthed AI Peta. You ladies and gentlemen, AI generated Family Guy. Woohoo! 230 people watching. Now, it has about 8,000 subscribers, so clearly it's a fresh young buck from Germany, ladies and gentlemen. Join literally the 4th uh, of this month, 2023. Now, of course, it's currently live, and it's been live for like five days, and I actually ended up coming across it because, oh, thank God, the recommendation system worked. Now, I have to be really careful showing you clips of AI Family Guy, just because uh, AI PETA likes to be a little raunchy, and so I've got a careful amount of clips, some of them actually involving me, but I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. Let's watch uh, what AI PETA is all about. Got this one. What well, came first, the chicken or the egg? It's an age old debate that I'm pretty sure that the chicken came first. What? No way! I think it was definitely the egg. Actually, if you look deep enough into the science of it, it's quite complicated to determine which came first. Cut. But if the egg came first, where did it come from? Well, I hope that's something scientists are still studying. So you're saying the chicken did come first? Ladies and gentlemen, no shot you just heard about the chicken and the egg from old Family Guy characters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that was just one topic. It gets even further. What the holy hell are you screaming about? Pico, it's not me laughing. Whoa! <laughs> you might be like, ow, mood on my ears! Welcome to Lou Loudis, okay? A, a, co a competitor to Loudword from AI Sponge. I promise to God I'll, uh, I'll kill down his screaming. I don't know if I remember it in editing. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it goes from chicken in the egg to talking about a national tragedy that old Chris is too scared to get in about. That's right, Chris. Let it all out. <laughs> oh, God damn! Now, you might be like, whoa, Muda, what's going on with the characters? Obviously, they've followed the, uh, the AI Seinfeld approach. Basically, they get rendered in these uh, little locations in Unity, and they just, from what I understand, and just walk around uh, basically any character that's present in the AI story, and they go about with their dialogue. Man, I don't think I've ever heard a more messed up episode of Family Guy. Yeah, that one with Stewie and Brian having babies was kind of strange. Yeah, I couldn't believe that wasn't a dream sequence. I always knew there was something off about Stewie and Brian. That was good moral for that one, though. Don't trust your pet to babysit. That's true. I guess even Stewie and Brian need to learn the hard way sometimes. Yeah, let that be a lesson to us all. Sometimes the best life lessons are learned through mistaken judgment. It's, le it's, it's learning about its own episodes. Now, of course, you might be wondering, whoa, what's that cutaway? It's just some standard JPEG with a Honda CRV just sitting around. Uh, it's just there to load in between the cutaway gags. Let's not look too deep into artificial intelligence, shall we? Muda Hare, I know I'm just one man, one in seven billion. We all are, you know. We all think we're special that somehow one voice can stand above the rest. But what I say doesn't matter. What matters is what we as people can do together as one. Together we can stand tall, stronger than any single one of us could ever be, because in solidarity our voices converge into something beautiful. <laughs> 
know. It might be the nicest thing somebody ever said to me. Now, at this point, the people that were watching the entire stream started putting me into the actual topic generator to understand how these uh, AIs work, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Discord for AI Peter. Basically, if you go to topic suggestions, you too are able to provide a topic and then basically uh, tell uh, what kind of an episode or cutaway you want. For instance, there's been a, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, mature responses like Peter declares a gang war on AI Sponge. Peter goes to Albania and Roblox. Yeah, there's a lot of Albania, but we'll get to all the lore shit in a minute. Don't worry. We're getting way too ahead of ourselves. Let's watch some more clips from AI Peter. Hey, has anyone heard of Ordinary Gamers? I just found a stream that started a few months ago and it seems... Oh, yeah, I've checked them out a few times and yeah, I have to agree. They put on some pretty great shows. Really, how do they compare to your family gatherings? Don't worry, Lois. Your family gatherings are way better than my shit posts on the internet. Yeah, as you can imagine, ChatGPT doesn't have enough information about my fat ass yet to truly tell you that they're watching absolutely uh, crazy content, if you will, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, at this moment in time, you can kind of see the limitations of artificial intelligence. But uh, I'm just glad to be getting an endorsement from the Family Guy cast to show that I've been watching no joke since I was in the fourth grade. God, I feel old. I never thought I'd see a day make God a day. He definitely seems like a type. A bit rude around the edges. Hey, that's my kind of guy. I mean, just look how confident Meg is. Does that motor I know what he's in for? <laughs> Oh, oh, you sickos. You got me to date Mech? Come on now. Now I'm on a watch list, you assholes. Come on. Else he does, he looks like he knows exactly what piece of crud. Well, oh, that oh. makes sure now else to pick him. I would have guessed that such a domesticated home cook girl like her would be out to get wild. She's we honest. She's always been a little wild. No, I think she's just finally finding her place in life and getting comfortable with her decisions. Jesus Christ, how can they be nice to Meg? This truly is artificial intelligence, Lois. Come on. Now, of course, these are just some clips that one can watch about AI PETA. And of course, he's not the only artificial intelligence around. There's also the AI Griffin Show, which uh, has also just come off hot off the presses. And I would say that this one is a little bit more, uh, you know, well refined in terms of its graphics. Let's just watch a clip out of this one. Hey, Stewie, this chat feels deader than Meg's love life. Nice one. This chat has been deader than Brian's love life. <laughs> okay, I will say the voices just got better. Now, of course, uh, I will say that obviously the uh, entire scenarios are generated, but what I find impressive is somehow the voices, obviously they can stroke out from time to time because it is artificial intelligence after all, and they are generating these things at a pretty rapid, constant pace. So for me to even hear something that sounds like Mila Kunis and you know, Seth MacFarlane, I'm just impressed, okay? And there's incentives to actually be on here. For instance, if you pay money, you can be an ant in the entire show. Or sometimes you can have Quagmire jumping around on the couch. Uh, it, it really is your oyster. You might be like, what possesses a human being to watch this? And, and honestly, I think there definitely are some, uh, some, some, um... Uh, some pharmaceuticals, okay, of the of the illicit variety. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I think a lot of people watching this are absolutely high. Okay, I usually have Family Guy sitting on the side, and you bet your ass tomorrow morning when I wake up and I'm working, I'm gonna have some Family Guy AI Family Guy running. Provided it doesn't get banned, because it's actually veered into the territory of some really, really, really dark humor that I'm pretty sure wouldn't fly under YouTube's TOS. Uh, but then again, that's kind of par for the course for a lot of AI shows on the internet. Obviously, uh, when it comes to artificial intelligence and the community sending in topics, yeah, it eventually the topics of veering into some really, really risque shit. But don't worry, it's streaming on Twitch, Kick, and whatnot. So no matter what, there's obvious, there's going to be one platform where AIPD will survive on. What I found super insane about this was the actual lore for AI Peter. So of course, obviously it covers the characters, but it even tells you about the various places. It tells you about the events. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, they've got the first stream, the rigging, the AI sponge raid, uh, donation frenzies, Albanian topic spam. There have been entire histories, like there have been lore that rival Dwarf Fortress renders just in this stream that's lasted for less than a week.
I swear, man, the internet world, uh, you know, explodes at a rapid pace. You can even see the timeline literally in days. The first stream, the T-Pose era, and then the post-rigging era. But of course, there's also other scenarios too, like the common topics, for instance, being the Tribunal of the Sleeping God, Albania, which is very popular, and obviously Chris Screaming is one very, very popular scenario. You know what's wild is there's even AI Simpsons where like 35 people are watching this right now. And again, I don't know if this is the original stream. Uh, a lot of these places can literally just be like restreams of larger scenarios. But yeah, this is a this is a, this this is a world we're headed into. The most popular of cutaway television shows have now finally been properly thrown through in an AI, and now we don't have to worry about any human being touching the show because it's just as lifeless and dead as the actual show. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, at least Modern Family Guy, Jesus Christ. But yeah, you know, I wanted to bring this up to your attention because goddamn, you guys made me date Meg and I just had to share it with the rest of the world. And to be real with you, Brian gave me a ringing endorsement. So the fact that I had to, the fact that he did that was pretty much me just having to cover this. And honestly, this is just lighthearted, goofy fun that I wanted to show it. I literally said uh, less than a week ago, this was like a billion dollar idea. And you know what? This has become, in my opinion, one of the coolest little ideas on the internet. So, hopefully by the time I post this video, they won't get banned for something fucking wild set on their platform. But then again, who knows? AI expands at a rapid pace and it gets canceled far faster than your average ordinary human. That said though, ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.